All right, I wanted to. Mm -hmm. All right, I wanted to give you just a little tour of where I spend a lot of my time. It's a former workroom that I've kind of turned into a studio, and some people kind of wanted to see how I do things down things down there and what it all looks like. So come along with me, and I will show you what it's all about. So this is a pretty small room, maybe nine feet by ten feet or so. Uh, it's primarily my workroom, and I had to consolidate and move a lot of the stuff that was over here. Um, had to move all that kind of over here and condense it. And so I did some things like I put in this uh, thing for my tools, which I can easily move, and that way I can get to these racks behind here, as well as have space to store all this stuff. So I had to make some accommodations. Also had to make some changes to the electrical in order to get all this stuff to fit. But I still have my kind of electronics workshop here. So there's a 3D printer and um, ready to go. So that's actually fairly useful to have. A um, little TV I used to watch programs on while I was doing things down here. Got a place for my laptop. That's nice to be able to set that up. It's also nice to have another place to sit. So I also have a nice tall um, a chair here that I can sit. And so I can come over here and do a Zoom meeting or something like that. Or I also have this quad mount that I mount my phone onto pretty easily. And then I can uh, let it charge as well as take calls. And then I have my dad's old iMac, which... Uh, I use mainly for programming uh, as well as um, well watching YouTube videos stuff like that various little uh, projects that are in in uh, states of repair little Nvidia um, uh, board that can do some AI so still working on that and then I tried to make things a little bit attractive over here so that I had a good backdrop so I had my Saturn V rocket that my it was a birthday present to myself. My niece allowed me to watch her assemble it. Um, and it, of course, has some uh, nice lights as well to illuminate it. Uh, you'll notice a lot of little Doctor Who type of uh, things. So Daleks and K9. And in fact, I think way over here, if you can see it, we've got a very small Doctor Who right there. That is the Tom Baker Doctor Who that um, was a gift from a friend of mine, Tam, uh, Jim Rose, back uh, probably 30 years ago. And I have my YouTube counter. So, yes, you could be 1,351 if you go and click subscribe now. Um, so then I just other miscellaneous stuff. So I got some old stuff. So this is a starter from a Model T. Got the little thing that my dad built for me to actually trained me on how to count in binary when I was a kid. That was kind of cool that he did that. Uh, then uh, DJI controller, drone batteries, switch. Um, this used to be a uh, Raspberry Pi that would show me all the aircraft in the air area around in Missouri, but I somehow fried that. Um, and, of course, my little um, a robot here as well that I try to use for some class demonstrations on AI. But then uh, that's kind of just the backdrop, right? And then uh, I have a couple things. like a green screen that's just on a little track. This is actually just a track that you can buy um, at any uh, home improvement store. It's just for hanging ceiling closets, uh, cl ceiling closet doors, rather. And just another one with my little whiteboard there. So that adds some variety when you're teaching. And then I made this uh, top uh, actually over Christmas break because I was getting too cramped in here. So I made a nice wide top. So I have a lot of area to work on. And it's just sitting on top of an AV cart that I painted gold. So that's really all that's down here. So I got a UPS. I got a, a nice little printer over here so I can print some stuff on the fly. And then a little heater over there, oil heater that I've been using um, that's on a timer. So it warms the thing place up for me. Um have a Wave 3 mic I've been using now. I like that one pretty well and that good general purpose mic. I've got a much higher quality Shure mic over here as well that I use for more professional types of recording. 
um, not for Zoom classes, but for recording, and then a little mic mixing board over there that has uh, two inputs. And of course, it's always good to have a backup and a backup for the backup uh, when you're working on Zoom. So I also have another uh, one that actually I use out in the field a lot, but I have it mounted up there in case I were to need one extra mic for some reason. And then you might notice I have three monitors. So I have this big one here. It's just a really cheap LG that uh, has HDMI input. Not very good uh, color quality or anything like that. Uh, and then I got two little small 7-inch LCDs. Uh, the reason I do that is because you can get PowerPoint and Keynote to do some more interesting things if you have more monitors. So, for example, I can have my PowerPoint or Keynote here so I can see that. I can then overlay my image because I've got um, a little stream deck down here that'll allow me to change different images. So I can mix and match uh, using something called Wirecast. So I can make some nice um, videos that way. In fact, let me see, I can show you right here. You can see the video down there, but I can instantly put um, that video along with, for example, the document camera that's down over here. Okay, so there's the document camera, and now there's me and the document camera in the corner. And of course, if I pull over the old green screen, it even looks a little bit better there. Okay, so I do kind of fun stuff like that. And uh, like I was saying, with the three monitors, you could have your keynote presentation here. I could overlay myself, transmit that out to the students. Then I could have my presenter notes over here, and then I could use the main screen to see 40 students at a time or monitor the chat and all that kind of stuff. So um, all this is driven by a little Mac Mini. Uh, like the Mac Mini, I just bought a refurbished one. Uh, have some other things around here too. This is just shows me the uh, solar panel uh, output for today or yeah, I guess output from uh, making solar power. Uh, I've got a nice little clock over there that way I can keep track of time without having to look at my watch. Uh, also have some other lights here and there just so that I can get the lighting to look good. It's a little bit hard uh, sometimes to get it to work out the way you want it. And then I've got the, um, the desk chair. This is a really actually a very good chair that I bought when I was running my business. And rather than try and put it up with some uh, something that wouldn't be that stable since this floor is uneven, I kind of built up this uh, multi-level um, platform, I guess, if you will. And I've got some uh, feet underneath here that I can actually level and adjust for the floor. So, the next time you see me on Zoom or see me on a YouTube video, um, you may not see anything that looks like this, but this is where it's going to come from. Uh, if you have any questions about the technology I use, just... Um, send me an email. We'll schedule time to talk and I'd be happy to uh, walk you through things or take a look at your setup and suggest uh, some changes. So thanks for watching.